Wow. Whew. That's pretty. Just wondering how I'm gonna get my car out of this. Hi, good morning. This trip is gonna be a fun food adventure. As soon as I can get out of my driveway, uh, I'm going to I'm going to Flushing for a night, and then I'm flying to Istanbul, Turkey, and then we're going to go to Spain with Amsterdam squeezed in between. It's gonna be really, really fun. All right, let's let's try to get out of here. It's about seven o'clock in the morning and I'm just so excited. Never been to Turkey, always wanted to go. Hopefully this is gonna be a deliciously amazing trip. To get there, I'm flying Qatar business class, which is supposed to be the best business class in the world. We'll see about that. I'm gonna review the heck out of this for you guys, especially the food. Let's go. Morning now, there's no food in the lounge, so can't wait to try out the food on this flight. So it's really interesting, the seats are kind of, kind of like facing each other. So this one is facing this way, and my seat is facing that way. <sighs> okay, the seats are really nice. This is the most private business class seat I've ever been in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Can I offer some sleeping suits and white company? Okay, sure. There's a side. Okay. If you want to change the size, just let me know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <gasps> pajamas. The only other business class I had pajamas in was uh, Yiba Airlines. I actually switched seats because a lot of free seats available. And this is the first time in my life I'm flying an airplane. So the nose of the plane is this way. So I'm flying backwards. I don't know. I just never did it before. I want to try. So let me show you why I'm already in love with this, this business class. So this is my cabin. I think when we start flying, this can close. So it'll just be my own little private apartment that's basically bigger than my first New York apartment. Nice little pillow, blanket. So these business classes are known as the Q Suite. Only thing I don't like, and this is so loud right now. Um, all your buttons here, charging station. It's like a credit card swiper. So this is your control, which is kind of like an iPad. The screen is massive, like massive right here. This is the table, amenity bag, socks, eye mask, dental floss. You get a little compartment here. You got your water, headset, magazines, slippers. There's your PJ, so I have to take off. I'll show you guys the movie selection, uh, this door, and uh, hopefully they got some really good food on board. All right, they just told me something amazing. So what, what can you do? Mm, we can have a double bed over here, sir. A Actually, double bed yeah, over here. Kind of oh. I want a double bed. That'd yeah. be awesome. No worries, thank sir. you so you much. No yeah, worries. thank you. So exciting. Okay, so on this airline, there's no set meal times, which is fantastic. So you just, when you're hungry, you order something. Parsley soup, Ooh, smoked duck breast, oh, hummus, char grilled beef tenderloin with garlic butter, seared salmon, selection of bread, dip your bread where drizzle one of our fine olive oils on your, what? Olive oil infused with balsamic vinegar, tomato, chili, spicy lemon, and pomegranate. Ah. Desserts, maple pumpkin tart. So breakfast, we have orange juice, cold cuts, Arabic, traditional Arabic breakfast, cheddar cheese omelet. Oh, definitely that. Selection of bread again. Light options. <laughs> chicken pot pie. First time I've ever seen chicken pot pie listed as a light option. Afternoon tea. What? Mini sliders. And they have mocktails? Sliders and mocktails? It's, it's, it's like this, this flight is designed for me. I was excited about the whole sweet privacy thing, but I'm even more excited to basically try everything on the menu. We are gonna try to plow through as much food as we can because it all sounds really good. You ready for this? I'm ready. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna take care of the food stuff now. I'll do the classic Arabic meze, char grill beef tenderloin. 
Did right. I get that as well? Well, like their sand special yeah. Yeah. You're peppers. awesome. So I'm also getting the smoked duck breast, maple, pumpkin tart. Ladies and gentlemen, please let me know if you need something. Cabin crew, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, also, check it out. <laughs> that is so cool. That's the greatest airplane window screen ever. That is a lot of movies. Kenneth is setting up the double bed. Awesome, thanks so much Kenneth. My pineapple mocktail is some more nuts. Try to see. Check this out. Pink Himalayan salt. Pomegranate and olive oil, balsamic vinegar, bread basket. Oh, by the way, if this is still too bright for you. Crazy. First course, a little smoked salmon, some caviar on top. I'm really starting to love smoked salmon. A little potato. Really refreshing taste of fish. The salmon is so buttery. First time having champagne on a flight. Alcohol free? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, it's nice. Is it? Yeah. Is it sweet? Oh. Perfect. So this is the muhammara. It's a red pepper walnut dip. Very traditional Turkish dish. And this is the tabole. It's a vegetable salad, tomatoes, parsley, usually some mint, onions, um, typically seasoned with olive oil. We have the hummus here. I love hummus. This is so good. It's my actually it's my first time eating this dish. I love how smoky this is. What a great peppery flavor. Just a tiny amount of heat by the dab. This is actually really, really nice. I'm getting another glass of this. It's like I'm walking through a garden. It's so much crazy good aroma. I love the use of mint in here. You know when I'm on a fly, you gotta check out the bathroom. Nice mirror, you got that, I don't know, pimple popping magnifier thingy. Shaving kit. It's a good size bathroom. Thank you, appetizer number two. Thanks. This is the duck salad. Pomegranate, looks like some raisins. I'm trying to do this with one hand here, that's why I'm not using a knife. Ooh. It's a duck cut pretty easily. This duck is so smoky. I'm surprised they let it on the airplane. The meat is tender. If I got this at any restaurant, I would be so happy. Main course is here. Beef tenderloin, mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. You don't really even need a knife for this. I'm not actually expecting steakhouse steak here. You know, this is pretty darn good. It's had on the dry side, but come on, you should be getting this from the airplane. This is where bread is put to good use. Finally dessert. This is a maple pumpkin tart. Looks like a bunch of crunchy caramelized maple candy. Oh my god, it's great. A bunch of little caramelized maple candy filling. It's just smooth and soft. Nice pumpkin flavor. 
This thing is making me crave turkey and trick or treating. Okay, I'm having such a good time eating. I didn't want it to end, so got an order of mini sliders. And also, they gave me this. It's a snack platter with a bunch of little bites like lobster mac and cheese, boiled egg with caviar, beef teriyaki. Now that I think about it, I'm in the sky. There's like an endless carousel of food. And then when I step over there, I, I can just go to bed, come back here, eat some more. Is this food heavy? All right, a couple sliders here. One chicken, one beef. It's like a pretty juicy chicken slider. It's a really juicy slider. I feel like it'd be better with some ketchup. I should have kept the ketchup here when they offered it. But it's still really tasty. This is pretty much just a the steak I was eating. This looks like in a slider. Mm. Oh, this is awesome. This is actually more tender than the steak I was eating. It actually tastes like dry aged beef. Bun is nice and toasty. That's really, really good. Really good. These are just little bites of food. This is boiled egg with salmon caviar. Quinoa and goat cheese stuff, sweet pepper. I'm thinking this is the lobster mac and cheese. Beef teriyaki, broccoli and cheddar empanada, and the chocolate and clear. Those look so pretty. Egg with salmon caviar. I didn't think that will work, but that definitely works. Broccoli and cheese empanada. I love the outside of this, otherwise the inside is really good. Lobster, mac and cheese. That one I don't love as much. It's a little dry and hard. I don't love this. I, I tried most things I wanted to try on the menu. Favorite duck and the beef slider. Bomb. Oh, and the signature appetizer with the hummus. So good. I'm pretty full. It's only one thing to do. Let's go take a nap. But first, I, I gotta, I gotta change into my PJs. Put on my, put on my PJs. Oh, it smells great. I think I'm gonna retire to the bedroom now. Good morning. To say that was the best sleep I've had on any flight is an understatement. Even better than my only first class experience on Korean Airlines. I mean, the food is way better. I'm gonna get their chicken pot pie, I'm gonna try that out, and then we're gonna have breakfast. A little bit of salad, croutons. So it's kind of like a deconstructed chicken pot pie. This makes me feel all warm inside. Tender chicken, the gravy is out of this world. It's like the essence of chicken is living in this bowl right now. So far, the food I'm having on this flight, blowing all other airline foods, dare I say, knock on wood, out of the sky. I got the traditional air breakfast. Let me show you. Fresh olives. Ever since Spain, I've developed a love for fresh olives. And this is uh, what's called film with deems. And I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's a bunch of ingredients including fava beans, onions, parsley, and lots of different spices and vegetable oil. This is a very traditional Egyptian dish. I'm gonna eat it with my croissant. Mm. Very mild dish. I love the use of spices. Actually, I don't like fava beans, but it's really shining right here. I'm not a huge veggie person, but definitely get on board with this. My flight's in about 40 minutes. Check out this lounge. It is pretty darn spectacular. So you got all sorts of little dishes here. Food made to order right over there. So you can order anything off here, right? Breakfast sandwiches, beef salami, grilled cheese, caprice. Do you think in the Capri sandwich you can throw in some beef salami? We need some beef salami in the Capri. Can you do that? 
<laughs> You're awesome. Thank you. This is their uh, Caprice sandwich with fresh, fresh mozzarella tomatoes, pesto, and I customized it because I wanted some beef in there. That's fresh. Five hour flight from Qatar to Istanbul. And this is the business class for the shorter flight. Obviously, a lot smaller. Okay, I'm kind of relieved. That's the same breakfast they're serving on the other flight. Wow, 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 wow. That is one heck of a bathroom. Oh, finally here, Istanbul. I've been wanting to come here for no less than three or four years. Been trying to make my way here and it feels unreal. I'm at the Four Seasons right now. I um, usually don't get a hotel this fancy. But on this trip, here's what's going on. So. I'm here doing a collab with The Hungry Tourist. A lot of you guys might have might have seen him on, on YouTube, Instagram. He knows these great local yeats places all around the world and uh, Istanbul is one of his favorite stomping grounds. So he invited me to come and, and basically eat with him for about four days and then we're gonna go to Spain and eat some more. I'm not gonna say no to that. So I'm gonna eat for about the next 10 days nonstop, which sounds like a good 10 days. Also, summary on the Qatar business class. Uh, again, this was not sponsored. They didn't pay me a single dollar. I, I, I paid for the ticket and it was the best business class experience I've ever had. And I've only flown first class once on Korean airline. This is way better than Korean airline first class. I have a feeling it's better than most airlines first class. I mean, the Q suites are so incredibly private and, and great. The staff were so attentive, so incredibly nice. I think the food selection is the biggest food selection I've had on, on any airline, the movie selection as well. Really, the experience out of this world. And I booked this flight because uh, usually um, Qatar airline flights are, are sort of expensive, but when I was searching for flights, I found a one-way flight to uh, to Istanbul that was probably half the price than it usually is and that's why I booked it. And it was really cool for them to send somebody when I had a really tight transfer to kind of just guide me around the airport so I don't get lost and miss my next flight. So thank you very much Qatar Airlines for doing that. And before this, my favorite business class, my favorite airline, I told you guys, Singapore Airline had the best food, best service, best seats. The seats were so nice and wide. But as much as I do love Singapore Airlines, I gotta say, doesn't compare to Qatar. It, it really doesn't from the wide variety of food, even when you're comparing food quality and the service. Gotta be honest, I, I feel like Qatar is, is the best service I've ever had on a flight. So there you go. This is now my favorite business class airline. If you do uh, search around, if you want to fly business class and you can get a Qatar flight that's within your price range, 100% go for it. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this flight review. Thank you so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later.